Hello, my name is Ashling from Shannon Library and I'm going to read you this lovely story for Spring into Storytime and the name of the story is called We're Going to the Zoo and it is written and illustrated by Sarah Bowie and the publishers are O'Brien Press. We're Going to the Zoo, written and illustrated by Sarah Bowie and it's published by O'Brien Press. So will we get started with our story? Yes, let's get started with our story. And this is my lovely alpaca friend. And he's going to wave to you. And he's going to join us for our story time today. My big sister is always bored. Yawn. This is her. I'm so bored. Are you bored, alpaca? No? Can we keep going with the story? Yes? Okay, let's keep going with the story. The only time she's not bored is when she's doing this. Text, 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 or blah, 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 or this, or she's hands up. I'll use my superpower. She's playing video games. It's the summer holidays, and yep, you guessed it. My sister is really bored. So dad says, let's go to the zoo, and me Yay! And my sister is grown. I'm going to draw pictures of all the animals so I can show them to mom when she gets home from work. And my sister says, that's so stupid. You should just take photos. And my sister only wants to see the red pandas. Other than that, the zoo is... What do you think she thinks of the zoo? It's boring. And it's not just any zoo that they're going to. It is Dublin Zoo. So maybe some of you have gone to Dublin Zoo. I head straight for the fruit bats. They're sleeping because it's daytime. So they're good ones to start with. My sister says, you're so weird. Here's me drawing like crazy. Draw, draw, draw. And here's my fruit bat drawing. And this is the right way up. So don't turn the page around because they sleep upside down. And she's drawn the wings. And loads of information about bats. Bats are the only mammals that can fly. And when they sleep, they use their wings like a blanket. And a question. Do bats in Australia sleep standing up? The answer is, mm, maybe. Next I draw elephants. And they're having a bath. So this one is a bit trickier. And Dad says, a little bit of water never hurt anyone. Yeah, I say it to my sister, and my sister gives me a dirty look. And the, her poor sister is just getting all soaked. Here's my elephant drawing. This was good until I sprayed it with water. Her drawing got all covered with water. And elephants have huge brains, which makes them really smart. And this bit, this bit here, is a trunk. And they use it to breathe, to smell, to touch, to wash, to eat, to drink, and to talk. In elephant language, of course. Over to the giraffes. My sister is still wet from the elephants. Look at her there, she's fuming. And the zookeeper is bringing them some food. It must be lunchtime, because they look hungry. And all oh, this lovely drawing of the giraffes. And oh. She ran out of room for the head because they have really long necks. And interesting facts about giraffes. Giraffes rest their tongue by hanging it outside of their mouth. I wonder what you would look like if you rested your tongue hanging outside your mouth. You might get into trouble. My sister finds the red pandas and starts to take about a million selfies. Of course she does. And she's smiling with the pandas and she's telling the pandas to smile. At First, the red panda looks a bit surprised, but then he just ignores my sister, who's being a total pain. Hey, panda, this way. Oh, look at the panda. He turns his bum to her. Uh oh. And here's one of my sister's photos. Look at her with the panda. And red pandas are not related to black and white pandas. That's an interesting fact about pandas. They have fur on the soles of their feet so they don't slip in the snow. And this one waved at me, honestly. Now over to the tapirs. My sister likes these two and she even says my drawing isn't terrible. The baby one is cute. I say she can have some paper if she wants to draw too, but she says, nah, the baby tapir is having a nap. He's got stripes for camouflage 
and his mom is getting some food. She's having a sniff there. Oh, I love the tapirs. They have some tapirs in Cork in photo as well. If you're down there, you might have seen a tapir. And here's my tapir drawing. Tapirs have long noses, which they use to grab food. And there are they are nothing to do with elephants. Tapirs are brilliant swimmers and use their noses like snorkels. That is really clever. And interesting, they come from the Brazilian rainforest. Why don't you like drawing anymore? I asked my sister. And she says, drawings for babies? You're quite good at it though, she says. And the tiger is really enjoying the sunshine. Oh, see the tiger there? He's having a lovely lie in the sunshine. And here's my tiger drawing. He reminds me of a cat Des, except he's about a hundred times bigger and technically could eat my head off, but he probably won't. And everyone thinks cats don't like water, but tigers are really good swimmers. Next we visit the sea lions and the zookeeper has trained them so she can keep an eye on their health. And they let her check their ears, their, or their eyes, their ears, their nose and flippers. And she rewards them with fish. Sea lions are very smart. And here's my drawing of sea lions. This one was jumping really high, which is what they do if they're being chased by a shark. And sea lions use their flippers like legs to walk on land. And they have ears that you can't... They have ears that you can see. Oh, and seals don't. That's an interesting fact about sea lions that I never knew before. These monkeys are called macaques. They are all grooming each other, is what, which is their favourite thing to do. Yeah, it is. And do they remember that, do you remember that time you showed me how to draw cat faces? I asked my sister. And then we used to have cat face drawing competitions all the time. Yeah, she says, but that was ages ago. And these monkeys are making me itchy my macaque drawing and macaques keep their food in their cheeks in case they get hungry later. I don't think we should do that though. And they have a punk hairdo and big pink bums that stick out and oh, she's gonna try keep all her store all her jelly babies in her cheeks for later. That is not a good idea I don't think. And we go over to the rhinos where there's a new baby and both me and my sister think he's the cutest thing we've ever seen. He is really cute and he's running around and around and he keeps bumping into things because he's a bit blind. And then my sister asks, here, can I have a pencil? And here's my baby rhino drawing and my sister did the hearts. Rhinos, even the big ones, are really fast runners and they go whoosh and they go flying it. And, but they have very bad eyesight, um, but they have brilliant hearing. And she's written there, there's no need to shout. That's what the rhino is saying. Later, or the last stop is the meerkats. And oh, it's dinner time. And all the meerkats come out to see what they're having for dinner. And they're having a sniff. And you're still really good at drawing, I say to my sister. No, well, she says, really? Oh, look at all the meerkats. They're having their dinner. I wonder what they eat for dinner. And here's the meerkats, me and my sister, Drew. And meerkats have dark circles around their eyes to help with the sun. Kind of like sunglasses. And they can eat snakes and scorpions without getting poisoned. So, the two girls are doing loads of drawing at the zoo. And one of the zookeepers says, Hi girls, do you mind if I have a look? And she says, these are great. And well, it's really my sister. She's the artist. And the zookeeper says, most people just take photos and they all look the same. But your drawing show me things that the camera doesn't see. Like bat wings being like, like blankets. And I'd like to have an exhibition of all your drawings. Come on, we'll do it over here. Dad says we can. And mom is going to come too. That is so great, isn't it? And they hung up all the lovely drawings in the zoo. And here's me with all the drawings. And loads of people came and I got my picture taken with the zookeeper. That was really nice, wasn't it? And the zookeeper, her name is Susan. And of course, my sister took a photo too. Here it is. And it says, my little sister, the artist. So 
that was a very nice story. So I hope you liked all that story about the zoo. And did you like that story about the zoo? My alpaca friend, you did. Good. And so maybe you'd like to draw some pictures of animals that you could think of that might be in the zoo. Maybe what's your favourite animal? Um, I think my favourite would have to be the tapir. But maybe you can have think about what your favourite animal is and you could come into the library when we're open again and we'll be able to find you a book about your favourite animal. You can come to the desk and ask us. So I hope you enjoyed that story for spring into story time. Thank you.